Police in Los Angeles say witnesses in the death of rapper Notorious B.I.G. are afraid to talk. At a news conference tonight, Los Angeles detectives say they are investigating the possibility that the rapper's death is related to other rap artist murders, including that of Tupac Shakur. Obviously cannot eliminate the fact that there's been a number of murders involving uh, rap uh, singing, uh, rap singers. Uh, yes, we have to look at those, and yes, we think there may be a possibility, so therefore we're going to talk to the other detectives in the other cities. Industry insiders say there was a rivalry between Tupac's death row record company and Biggie Small's Bad Boy Entertainment. The death of rapper Notorious B.I.G., otherwise known as Biggie Smalls, is causing quite a stir among his fans and fellow rappers. He was killed yesterday in a drive-by shooting in Los Angeles, and phone lines were ringing all day today at a local rap station. As Fox 5's Sharon Crowley tells us now, rap fans are calling for an end to the violence. Sharon? Russ, we're here at Tower Records in Buckhead, where the story is the same all over the city. Fans are buying out Notorious B.I.G. or big CDs as much as they can get them. In fact, another one is expected out out later this month, but there is only one of his CDs left here. Obviously, his murder has left a big impression on his fans. Notorious B.I.G. situation. What's going on? They're playing his song. And counseling his listeners. If you're feeling frustrated, you just can't get any answers in that. Hit us up. We're here. Uh, to help you out. Most who can't believe another mega rap star oh, is gone. Um, a lot of people are hurt by it. A lot of people are frustrated. Some people think it was a setup. The notorious Big, as he's known, was shot to death this weekend as he left a Los Angeles party. Born Christopher Wallace, the teenage crack dealer, turned his life around with rap. His story of the streets landed him success. But this weekend, he met the same fate as another rap superstar, Tupac Shakur. It's real disappointing because, you know, I, I looked up to both artists. Genocide when we ride because we pack it chrome. Having dreams of living large, so we set a blow. Atlanta rappers MC Assault and Starvin Marvin aspire to notorious big success. Like him, they used rap to lift them out of poverty. Even before we got into uh, rap being this, uh, uh, we, we live that kind of life, really. It's, it's really rough out where we're from, and um, we, I just really basically take one day at a time. Oh, it's about a half past midnight, high beam zone, because they done shot out of the street lights. Like many in this community, they're sad to see another promising career ended because of violence. We need to come out and build the hiding communication and stop killing one another. Yep. It ain't getting us nowhere in the world. You're absolutely right. I can... Well, you're looking at the empty slot there. Notorious Big B.I.G. or Biggie Smaltz, as he's known, has another album still coming out later this month. Eerily, it is called Life After Death, and he will certainly be missed by many fans here in Atlanta. In Buckhead, Sharon Crowley, Fox 5 Eyewitness News, Prime Time. Sharon, you say the fans are calling for an end to violence, and yet they're buying these albums with lyrics that, in, in a sense, celebrate violence. Do they see the irony in that? They see it sort of as a tribute to him. They feel that his music and Tupac Shakur's music, they were speaking about an experience that they knew. They don't see it as something that caused their deaths. Fair enough. Sharon Crowley, thanks very much. The future of Los Angeles Police Chief Willie Williams is in doubt tonight. Today, members of his...